What are the environmental impacts of the new SECA regulations? When sulphur emissions have to decrease even further, from 1% to 0.1%, how does the shipping industry comply? The Envisum project made a study visit to Gothenburg. The Envisum project is a project funded by Interreg and its objectives are, is to uh, look at the impacts of the regulation of SECA, the SECA regulation, the impacts on air quality but also economical and health impacts on the entire Baltic, but also looking specifically at, for example, Gothenburg. Well, the, the city of Gothenburg was engaged in the Envisum uh, in order to make uh, dispersion calculations, simulations of the air quality in Gothenburg. That is something we do uh, on a regular basis, but with help of the Envisum project, we will get specific emission factors from uh, ships with the SECA regulation in place. The SECA regulations has given us better fuel quality and less emissions of uh, air pollution in Gothenburg, but also in the entire Baltic. In the middle of the harbour entrance is a fortress on a small island. On the island, Envisum operates a measuring station together with Sharma's university. It's called the Sniffer. In the Envisum project, we measure emissions from ships with a lot of different methods. In this station, we can, we can measure remotely what comes out from a ship. And we do that by analysing the, the gas that, is, that blows over the station. And we can measure several kilometres away. Uh, we have one station also, similar station, at the Great Belt Bridge. And that's basically where all ships that enters the Baltic Sea are passing. So we measure four ships, 4,000 ships there every year. And then on top of this we have an air, aircraft. So we are flying around with an airplane and, and we will do an hour survey on the Baltic Sea during the summer where we will go out in the middle of the ocean and see what, uh, if the ships are, what kind of emissions they have and if they are running the co compliant sulfur fuel. Uh, I mean, what we see right now is that there's really good compliance, maybe 95%, except if, when you come close to the borders, then maybe it goes down to 85, 80%. And we also want to know what happens to the emissions when new fuels and new techniques are used, such as air scrubbers abatement equipment. And the Envisum project is very much to look at what kind of new emissions is coming from shipping. Uh, they will maybe have abatement equipment so they clean the sulphur. And when you clean the sulphur at the same time, there might st happen things to the all, all of the other species. So we're trying to understand what's the new type of emissions coming from ships. Uh, we want them to model all the ship emissions with a model. Uh, it's, an, it's another partner in the project. And on top of that, what's the health impact? So there's like a full picture. It goes all the way from what's coming out here all the way to how people, if they die uh, early or not. The ports play a decisive role in making it possible to comply with the regulations. We can make sure that all types of uh, fuel that is needed and all types of uh, infrastructure that is needed is in place. The fuel that needs to be available has to be of more different kinds with the SECA regulations. We see a new demand for LNG, for methanol and for other types of oil than before. But the port of Gothenburg also sees business opportunities. Being a green port and uh, being a sustainable port is very important for us and we see it as uh, an advantage for business as well and the emissions have fallen dramatically. We see a dramatic drop in the uh, SO2 emissions. So we've seen them cut by 70% in only one year. So what are the environmental impacts of the new SECA regulations? We now know that the compliance is good and emission levels have fallen dramatically. But new fuels and new abatement techniques produce new kinds of emissions. We will continue to measure and make simulations for Gothenburg and other port cities and for the entire Baltic region to provide guidance for future environmental regulations and future investment decisions.